have made race cars in Blender, and I've made race cars in Magic of Voxel, um, but today I'm going to make a race car in Blender, and I'm probably going to do it in a new way that I found is probably like the easiest. It's not going to be like a highly detailed, accurate model. It's just like a quick race car thing that I could use to pop in these AI tutorials on racetracks that I'm going to make. So I kind of start with a cube, and I'll just call this the um, car body. And I'm going to take this cube and shape it into a car body. I found that this is really easy. So I'm still in object mode. I have the cube selected. And I'm going to do the scale tool. And uh, let's say that this is forward. All right? And this is the width. I make it just slightly bigger than cube. I start off with like a block. OK, now with that block now, I'm going to go into edit mode. And I'm going to add a loop cut down the length of the car. All right. And then here with this little pop-up, I'm going to turn that to two loop cuts. Bam. And now I'm going to um, press the scale tool before selecting anything else and just stretch that out to the sides. Because, you know, a car isn't like a brick. A car usually has like a curve to it. So I'm stretching these out to the side just to give that curve. And then I'm going to um, do another loop cut. Let me pick that tool again, the loop cut tool. And this time I'm going to go uh, this way. And again, I'm going to switch that to two. So this is going to be like the component, the part of the car where a person sits in. So go back to the scale tool. And now I'll just stretch this out, you know, a little bit. And I will also use the move tool now and move it toward the rear. So you can see that this would be the front of the car and this will be the rear. Hmm. What now should I do? If I lift this up, this would be like the back window. This would be the front window. But uh, for the windows, when they come up, I'm going to make another loop cut. So, so far, I've just been cutting this up here. Make another cut in here like this. And again, two. And then again, the scale tool. OK. Do something like that. So now, let's finally go to face mode. So I'm going to click this here to do face select. And I'm going to select this face here on the top that turns orange. OK? And now this is where it starts looking like a car, because I'm going to pull this up. And that's kind of like the car, the, the car part where the people go in. And now I see that my brick is like a little bit too high. So fine. Let me go to transparency key. That means when I select stuff, it's going to select all the way through everything. Go back to vertices, where I'm selecting the points. and let me just bring this down because that was too high for a car. And then I could select the face again on the top and just bring this down a little bit. All right. And then maybe for the head here. So now I just basically like took a cube and kind of outlined it to like a car for myself, you know? It's good. And sometimes, you know, the sides of a car, they're not just so straight like that. So I'll just add another loop cut here. And then I'll go to the scale tool and I will stretch that out a little bit here to give the car like a curve of the body and also on the front some to give it more of an aerodynamic shape. So let's see how that's looking. See, so already I have the shape of a basic car and I think that's impressive with just using a cube and just playing around with stuff a little bit. Let's see. I can make the back window more like that. Or maybe what I'll do is go to Edge Select, select this edge, and pull this edge forward for the front windshield. You know, and maybe when I do, let me press Control Z. Maybe I should select the whole ring and move the whole ring forward. So let's see. Um, I think there's a way to select the ring. Maybe I could just go to Select. Um, select Sharp. Select Loops. Edge ring. Yeah, and that went around this way. Control Z, so maybe it's loop. Select edge loop. And it went around that way. All right, so I selected all the things around the edge like this. And then when I move this forward, just to make the front windshield like, curve a little bit more. And also, and I'm just going to add another edge loop here. A loop cut, I mean. And I'm still in edge mode, right? So now what I'm going to do is just bring up the hood a little bit. Just give it like the middle of the car, kind of bring it up a little. OK. But I could keep working on it, making it look more and more like a car. So now, say I have the body of my car. 
go to object mode. And I kind of have the body outline of a car. Now I just have to cut out the wheel wells. So what I'm going to do for cutting out the wheel wells of this car's body is I'm going to go back to object mode. And I'm going to add another shape. I'm going to add a cylinder. So that'll be the mesh cylinder. And the cylinder first comes out and it's up and down. So I'll just rotate it. Um, I want it to rotate 90 degrees. That's 118. So let me just say 90. Bam. And then I'll scale it a little. And what I'm going to use the cylinder for is to kind of cut out. I'm going to use the balloon tool to cut out the wheel wells of the car. All right, like where the back wheel would be and where the front wheel would be. So the wheel wells, the radius, it's usually a little bit bigger than the car. The car's actual wheels are going to be. So let me just look at it straight on like this. I make them a little smaller. <coughs> Excuse me. And that could be one wheel well there. And then let me duplicate. Let's name this wheel well. And then I could duplicate this with copy and paste. And take the second wheel well, wheel well and move it up here toward where I kind of like want the front wheels to be, or where I can imagine them to be. All right. Now the one thing, when I cut out the wheel wells, I don't want it to cut out the middle of the car. So let's take these two wheel well objects and I'm going to make another boxed cube shape. So I'm in object mode, I'll add a cube, um, mesh cube, and I just do a boolean operator, just, oops, a boolean operator, let me do the move tool and move it down, just to cut out the middle so the wheel wells don't go all the way across the car. So let's see, I could hide the car body for a moment. Okay, and now I could do a boolean operator to use this um, to cut the two cylinders so they don't go across. So let's do that. How do I do that? I think I select the first cylinder, then I do modifier, boolean, here. And I think it's difference. I picked the thing to cut the, the wheel well with, which will be the that cube I just added. Bam, and you can see the outline of it. It did cut it. So I can say apply. Bam. Now I'm going to do it to this one in the front. I could say modifier again, boolean, and then pick the cube I'm going to cut it with. And you can see it cut it. And then say apply. All right, so now if I take out the cube, you can see like my wheels are only like that. So now I finished with the cube, so I could I could delete it. All right, now I got my wheel wells, these two things like that. Now, um, now I could go put the car body back, and I'm going to use these wheel wells to cut the car. All right, so I will select the car this time. Then I will again go to add modifier and boolean, and this time I'll be cutting the wheel well from the car. And you can see the the gray out, the um, blue outline. I think it's it did do a cut. See a little bit and say apply and let's see that let me just take the wheel well yeah so you see it cut out a wheel well in my shape there for the back wheels and then over here again i'll do another boolean car is selected first say boolean and pick the front wheel well this time bam and i can already tell by the orange outline that it did do the cutout to so say apply so now i have a car and it has the uh, wheel wells for the shape of the wheels to go into all right, so let's make the wheels. Well, I already got something that could be the wheels, these wheel wells. So let me take the wheel wells and um, see if I can select both of them, both wheel wells. Okay, and then go to scale because the wheel wells are a little bit bigger, but now I'm just going to take the... Okay, and scale that down a little bit. Hmm, so it's kind of pulling away from the center since I selected both of them. So let me do Control Z and I'll just select one set at a time. So I'll select the back ones and scale them and they kind of stay in place. Get like the average size of the wheel there. And then let me select the front ones and do the same thing. And get average size of the wheel there. Okay. Now that the wheels are smaller, I could probably pull them up a little bit. Let's go in the car. So now here, here's like a couple of things. Like I have separate objects. I can make four individual wheels. It depends what I'm going to do with the car. But in the AI racer, I just want the car to be a model. I'm not going to actually use the wheel colliders and spin the wheels around. So 
I just want the wheels to be separate so I can put a different texture on them. But they're definitely too fat. So let's see if I select them all and scale them down like this to the thickness that I want. Uh, and now they're freaking in the middle. <laughs> so what should I do? Should I do that to scale the width down and then have them come into the middle like that from where they were? Hmm, I guess so. So I'll let that happen. Now let me select the back ones. I'm gonna have to separate the wheels. Hmm. Well, I guess I could do the thing where I make one wheel, or let me undo what I did with the scale. Let me just cut off some of the wheels from this side and cut off, you know, the wheels from the edges. Kind of like using the balloon tool again. So let's go, we're in object mode again, and we go to add mesh cube, and let's make this cube long to cut along both wheels, and let me just, um, well, first I'll cut out the insides of the wheel, that they don't have to be that far into the car. So let's see how far into the car. Maybe like that. Maybe a little thinner. I don't know, it's a race car. So like this. Then let me just move it down to encompass the wheel wells. And then let me say, let me select the first wheel well. All right, that looks good. Now let's do the boolean operator again. Boolean. And use that cube again to cut it. And then say apply. Now let's do it for the front wheel. Boolean, pick the cube and apply. All right, so now I've cut out the insides. Now, oops, Control Z, I'm the wrong object. First select the cube, and now let me scale it out. I want to cut out the outsides of the wheel. How am I going to do that? Hmm. I want it to be symmetric. So first I stretch it out beyond that, and now let me just cut out the middle. Let's go to edit mode, and I'll do a loop cut for my cutting block. And I'll turn that to two, and I'll just kind of use the same method where I stretch things out. All right, and I'm going to stretch them out to probably where I want the wheels to stick out to, like that maybe. Okay, so I have that. Now I'll go to face mode, and I will select, can I do face loop, loops, and that's edge loops, does that work? No, control Z, select, um, circle select box, no, that's the tool I select, circle. Interior faces. No. All right. So forget using the tools to select stuff. I'll just do it manually. Here's this face, this face, this face, and this one. All right. So that's just the whole middle. And what I could do now is delete those faces. Okay. But now I'm missing the faces inside to cut. Whew. So I could select the edges and make a face or Maybe I could just scale it in. So let me do this. Um, let's try to make the faces of the box. So I think that's, maybe I could pick vertices, just look at it straight down like this, turn on transparency, and just select those edges there, and then kind of make a face out of them. So let me see if there's that in the pop-up menu. It's, um, that's about vertices. This is all about vertices. So maybe I go to face mode and I lost my selection. Go to vertices and now I lost that too. All right, let me do this again. Maybe I'll go to edge mode and select all those edges on this side. And then I want to connect the edges to make a face in the face menu, extrude faces and set. Um, mm, add no mesh. So I'm looking for the thing that's gonna like kind of make a face between those edges. So here's edge, um, edge crease, mark, 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 clear, 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 face, extrude, and set, poke, wire, fill. Ah, there we go. Now I got it filled a face in there. So let me do the same thing to the other side. Select it. And, oops, I kind of got too much there. Select it. Okay. And I just forgot what I did. I think I did face and I did fill. Bam. All right, so now I got the blocks that could cut the outside of the wheel so they don't, they're don't like thinner from there. So back to the baleen. So let me select wheel wheel one, then do a baleen with the, with the wheel, whoa. Wait a minute, where's the cube? Why can't I pick the cube? 
because I want this to be the cutter. Oh, I'm in edit mode. Sorry. All right, go back to object mode. Select wheel well one, then do boolean, and pick the cube. Bam, and that cut the wheels to be thinner. Good. Apply. Then do the same thing with the front wheels, and do boolean. And cut it with the cube again, and apply. So now if I take away the cube, now these look more like the car wheels that would fit. Everything, everything you know, is just basically, this isn't a perfect car. This is just like a, an arcade car model that I need for the game I'm doing. Now, I wonder what else I could do to make the wheels look more round, but I probably, this is good enough. I have a car model. Whoopee. <laughs> um, and that's the end of this tutorial.